Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for coming by. The Rideshare Hub is a place for Uber and Lyft drivers to learn how to make more money. So in today's video, I'm going over my number one piece of advice for new Uber and or Lyft drivers or any ride share driver out there who is thinking about driving or maybe just signed up and you know, you got your first ride jitters out of the way, but today I'm gonna just basically, you know, I'm an experienced part-time driver for Uber and Lyft. I've also driven, uh, I guess you could say full-time at a couple points as well. So uh, yeah, I'm basically gonna give you advice as if you're my friend, came up to me and said, hey Dylan, you know, I know you've been driving for a while, can you give me some advice? And that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. But b before I do get started, I would just ask if you could do one, do me one simple favor and tap the thumbs up button or click the thumbs up button, whatever it is. It helps me out so, so much and also helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And also consider subscribing if you do wanna be notified whenever we do post videos on this channel. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This is my number one piece of advice for a new driver, okay? Um, first of all, I would just say, first and foremost, track all of your expenses, track all of your miles, track all of any little thing you pay, all of your gas receipts, track all of that. I'm not gonna get into the taxes, but first and foremost, I just wanna say, you know, talk to an accountant that can help you or do your own research online. You know, I don't wanna be giving tax advice, but I will do, I will actually say to track your expenses. Okay, now getting all of that out of the way, I just wanted to say, um, you know, this is the grand advice is treat this as a way to increase your income. So I personally believe that Uber and Lyft is a great supplemental income. I I personally don't, I mean, you could ask other people out there, um, they might say, oh, it's a great full-time gig. You know, I love driving 50, 60 hours a week and I really, uh, it's fulfilling. I love the pastors. I love driving all day. Um, personally, for me and just my experience and talking with other people too, is that it really, when it comes down to it, Uber and Lyft is best as a side hustle, a side income. Um, it's really great. Like, let's say you're working a job. Let's say you're working a part-time job somewhere and, you know, you're making decent money there, but you just want to increase your income. And instead of working full time, like in an office, you want to work there. And then, you know, on the weekends drive for Uber and Lyft, that is great that, you know, or, if, or even better if you work full time and you want to increase, let's say you're making, you know, 30, $40,000 a year. And now you want to start making 40, $50,000 a year. You can drive it on the part time on the weekend. So for me, just backtracking a little bit, my story on why I started driving was exactly that. It was a side hustle. So when I first started when I first started driving, I had debt. I had credit card debt. I I don't even I can't show you my cards. I I don't have any credit cards anymore. Why? Cuz I cut them up. I know everybody who watches Graham St what is his name? Graham Stephan? Graham Stephen. Uh, anybody who is, you know, uses credit cards is probably going to um, you know, roast me on this, but I don't use credit cards. Yeah, I know. I don't I don't use them. I cut them up. Why? Because they ruin my life. And so for now, maybe in the future when I get super disciplined with my finances, but you know, I'm still working my way up the financial ladder. I still have, you know, student loans. I still have college debt. I'm not, you know, I'm pretty much still in the negative. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get all into my personal finances, but I got credit um, before I, you know, was making better, like decent money. I mean, now I'm making like decent money. At least I can, you know, work my way up a little bit, get ahead. Um, I was working at a job making like, well, I've worked so many different jobs. I work at Starbucks, work at Nike, I worked at retail stores, I worked at clothing, like I've done everything. I worked, uh, I started trying to start up like five or six of my own, uh, little businesses. None of them worked. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just all over the place here and but at the time when I started I was working photography I was doing photography and that wasn't working out and I was spending money. I was trying to be an actor too like literally Yeah, I've done so many things But the reason I started was because you know I was doing my job and I had all of a sudden I was like I was like five thousand dollars in debt and credit card debt and I just bought this car that I'm sitting in right now uh, for five thousand dollars plus tax so the loan on that was like fifty four hundred and when you're making $12 an hour, 
it's kind of hard you know my goal was to pay off those credit cards and the car so that's ten thousand four hundred dollars and when you're working twelve thirteen dollars an hour uh it doesn't add up too fast right so i was like all right i know that this car like i bought it at a decent mileage and i didn't want to put too many miles on it but i was like you know what i'm gonna drive this car until i pick, can pay it off you know i know i'm gonna sacrifice some mileage on this car i probably put on like already another 20 30,000 miles on it um but uh but at the end it's it's paid for right it's so it's it's mine it's not the bank's car it's my car um so i was willing to take that hit and i also was able to pay off the credit cards too but within that time i was also searching for a better job so uber and lyft really really has worked out for me and back then it worked out for me a lot because i was working my part-time job and i was able to work uber and lyft on the side so i was getting a full-time income and i was also i think i was also working two jobs when i first started and i was doing this and then i quit one of the jobs and then um i think i went back to it and when i really was really motivated i worked um did and then in the midst of that, I was applying to new jobs, trying to get a job that paid better. I finally found a, a job that paid me $16 per hour and was like 37.5 hours a week. All right. You know, they didn't want to pay, give me any benefits, <laughs> whatever. And so, um, and I took a break just to focus on that. I think I was driving Uber and Lyft maybe like one day per week, but on the week, just on like Friday nights or Saturday nights, but I was able to, it, I, I you know, I, I, for a moment, I was like, you know what? Let me just focus on this $60 per hour. You know, it's nothing amazing, but it was still pretty good for the time. That was about a year ago. And so I did all that, you know, worked through summer, worked with Uber and Lyft here and there. And, um, and then I was finally able to pay off the credit cards, pay off the car, um, working again. Like, no, then I started working up. Then I got a, a better job at a, like a technology company, a startup that, um, you know, I was, it was just a temporary job, but like, that's just to give you an idea. That's, that's like a great way to do Uber and Lyft. And at the same time, I still love it. I still love it. I'm not like you might, if, if you're searching up videos online, you might see other people, other drivers, you know, not calling out any names, but people who are really, really, really negative about rideshare. And they say, um, you know, they, they like call people bad names, call, put people down for driving part time or driving here and there. Um, who cares if you drive, if you drive one week and then take a couple months off and then if you want to drive again, that's great. You know, Uber and Lyft is a side hustle. Like it's, it's a contracting job, right? You get paid on a 1099, not a W2. You're not an employee. Um, and one of the great things about it is you can like, it's built for a flexible Per, like somebody with a flexible job uh, or a flexible life like say you are working and then yeah again you, you I don't know you whatever you make a bad decision that's what I did you know I got that got into all that debt worked my butt off to pay it all off sorry I don't want to cuss on here because I know some of you guys watch these videos with your families which I think was really cool I did have a driver who took me to the airport a couple months ago um, I was I don't remember what I was flying to see some family and uh or whatever it doesn't matter but <laughs> and he was like oh you're you're uh you're dylan from the red shirt i don't know if you're watching this still but he was like oh, i watch i put you on my tv and he was like i don't agree with you on this video that you made and <laughs> yeah it was actually we actually had a good conversation but i ended up taking a uh, like a selfie with me which that was my first like you know time being recognized <laughs> i guess <laughs> from youtube so that was pretty cool. But yeah, he said, yeah, I watched, I watch you on, I put you on TV with my wife and, and, and kids. I don't, maybe you didn't say kids, but at least his wife, you know, I want to keep it, you know, family friendly, right? This is a family channel. And, um, so what I was saying was like, um, gosh, I already lost my train of thought. I, I basically what I'm trying to say is that I think it's great. Oh yeah. So if you have like debt or something, or you want to pay for, Why do you have to, okay, yeah, so if you have debt or something, or if you, I don't know, are trying to pay for, like, 
college or yeah college is a great one like say you're trying to get your master's and you don't want to go into debt for it work in uber and lyft on the side while you do it like or uh, i don't know like or maybe you're running your own business this is a good one like if you're wor working running your own business you want to drive uber and lyft until your business takes off like i know like starting a business from scratch like a lot of times of the first like year or the six months um, you're not profitable yet, right? I I would be totally fine if you said, you know what, for the next year, I'm going to work uh, Uber and Lyft to help me, you know, to keep me afloat or to pay for my... I probably still wouldn't rely on it for full-time income like I would get a normal, like, a you know, a typical job. And then maybe I would say this, the best thing you could do, you know, get a normal job, you know, whatever. Um cover your expenses, and then cover your business expenses with Uber and Lyft. Now you're like replacing, like say, okay, you know what, I need a thousand dollars a month to run my business, whatever. I don't know, whatever you, whatever your business expenses are, or maybe it's two thousand a month. Say, all right, I'm gonna make a thousand a month driving Uber and Lyft, I'm gonna pay for it so I don't go into debt making this business. That's great advice. Like, that, <laughs> I wanna say, oh, that's great advice. Like, that's my own advice. It should be good advice, right? But that's, I hope that makes sense. I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. I don't think it's great long term. I wouldn't plan on quitting your job and saying, you know, I'm going to be an Uber driver forever, full time. And, you know, it's pretty difficult to like retire as an Uber driver. You know, yeah, I, obviously you can still, well, I don't know, obviously, I'm pretty sure you can still, you can set up your own retirement fund um, somehow, I guess. I don't, I'm not really sure actually. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever, you can be creative and put money into a savings account every month and then just save that for retirement. I don't know. I don't know how for personal 401ks work. I'm pretty sure you can, but regardless, um, I think it's great as a part-time temporary thing, like as you need it, as you know, it's a, it taught me a lot how to manage my money because now I had like multiple streams of income. And if you guys watch any of my other videos, like I have several small streams of income now that um, I kind of rely on, well, I, I won't say rely on, but like help me out with um, increasing my overall income. So anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. I do hope that you did enjoy this video. M again, make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you have any more questions at all, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to make a follow-up video on any of your questions that you have or even reply to you in the comment section if I'm, you know, in a good mood. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.